fan replacement for MacBook Air A1466. The tools we're going to need are a T5 screwdriver, a Pentalope screwdriver, and tweezers are optional. Go ahead and begin by removing the two Pentalope screws that are slightly longer than the rest of the screws. There are 10 screws in total. These two that are slightly longer in the center top and then the eight going around the contour that are sl slightly shorter. Go ahead and remove those eight next. With all ten screws removed go ahead and lift up and remove the cover panel to the side. Always begin by disconnecting the battery. Go ahead and find that little tugging lever and pull on it to disconnect the battery from the logic board. Let's begin by removing the cable that connects the DC inboard to the logic board. Go ahead and gently pop up that connection on the right side and then on the left side and move that cable out of the way. Now go ahead and disconnect the power cable that connects the DC inboard to the logic board. Go ahead and remove a screw up top on the right that connects the DC inboard fan and the heat sink. Go ahead and remove a T5 uh, screw from the fan on the left side and then the T5 screw on the fan on the bottom. Now the fan is loose but it's still connected to the logic board. Go ahead and lift up that little eyelash right there and tuck out that cable very carefully. You don't want to rip this. Be very gentle. Go ahead and just move that fan out of the way. Fan installation MacBook Air A1466. Go ahead and tuck in that fan ribbon cable first. Push that all the way into the socket and then push down on the eyelash locking it in. Now adjust its orientation. Now go ahead and secure the left T5 screw for the fan. Go ahead and secure the uh, bottom T5 screw for the fan. And then the third final screw that secures the fan, the DC inboard, and the heat sink together. Now go ahead and plug in the uh, power rail cable. And now we can cover the last connection connecting the DC in board data cable to the logic board. Go ahead and reconnect the battery. Place the cover back on top. Go ahead and secure the two uh, slightly longer pentalobe screws first and then the remaining eight going around the contour uh, of the MacBook Air.